Okay, today we're going to experiment with uh, heavy body acrylics, um, PBA glue, and I'm going to show you how I um, work out what my paints are going to do when I mix them. Um, we're going to be using the Mount Mart Dimensions paint, and you can see that it's super thick and pasty. Now, to save a bit of time, I have already played with three of the colours, and that is a zinc white, a pearl white, and my favourite purple. So I've already worked out what I want them to look like. And I thought for this experiment, we'd actually look at the titanium white and see what difference um, different ratios make. Okay, let's play with the um, titanium white. Now I'm going to end up making three different ratios so that we can see how they work. So I'll make up three times the amount um, that I actually want. So I'll make up a total of 30 grams of paint. Sorry. Thirty grams of paint. Add thirty grams of PVA glue, taking it up to sixty. Now I'm going to mix this before I even entertain putting water in. Um, it's wise not to uh, rush this mixing. Um, if I've fallen into any sort of trouble, it's been because the water and the paint doesn't mix properly. But once you get the PVA in there evenly, the water seems to mix in quite nicely. So you can see it's quite still quite thick and gluggy. But I can see that it's quite nice and even and no lumps. Make sure you clean your tools and the side of the cup properly so that you get it all in there. The last thing you want is a lump. I'll just put that away. Okay, so now I'm going to add 30 mils of water and that will become our base. Now I have some distilled water here. Now I do this with every um, lot of new paints that I get so that I understand um, what they're going to do, how long I have to mix them, um, what, what they will do in my painting and, and again this, this needs to be mixed very well. Um, these paints are very thick and if you get lumps they will burn or they will puff up inside your painting. Okay, quite thin and doesn't really pour very well. So I'm going to split it into the three cups. 20 mil in each cup or 20 grams, however you're weighing things. People have asked me whether or not the actual um, weight makes a difference. For me, the ratio is easier to determine by weight. Um, 
because then I can reproduce it. Um, if I did it by eye, and I'm sure that sooner or later I'll be able to do that, um, then I always feel like it's a little bit random. And flow painting seems to be so random as it is. Okay, so that's the three of them. Now, what I'm going to do with number two is I'm going to add another five mils of PVA. So that will be ten paint, fifteen PVA, and ten water. Mix that up thoroughly. Make sure it's off the stick and the sides. So I keep a little notepad next to me. So one is our base measure. Two has plus PVA five mils or grams. Mix that up thoroughly. That's two. Now in three, I'm going to put five mils of water. Sorry, I'll just get some water. Or five grams, depending on grams and mils mostly weigh the same when you're talking water. Now the the thing with doing ratios is this is not about the best ratio. This is about the best ratio for what you want to happen in your painting. So that's very thin. It's still, excuse me. Okay, I'm back. Now, as I was saying, this, this looks extremely runny. Now, you can fix that if you want to, but this is an experiment to show you the difference. That's a nice consistency. And this is our original equal parts. Okay, now what I do next, I use a glass chopping board. Now I, I like glass because um, you can clean it, um, it's easy to scrape off, but what I wanted to show you was three different whites. We have a pearl white, which I'll put a little bit on. We have a zinc white, can you see that? Not really, is that better? No, we'll work on that. We have a zinc white and then we have our three titanium whites. So this is our first mix which was equal parts paint, glue and water. Number two, which is an additional part of glue. And number three, which is our watery one. Now, if I tip this, you can see how it runs. Can you see that? Sorry. You can see how it runs. Like I said before, none of the, this is not the best ratio. This is what works for you in your painting. Now, this one here is running too fast if we were going to combine it with these two whites. 
So I would take the 1 out of the equation and look at the second mix which had more glue in it and ran a bit better. And obviously the third one is a little bit too thin for us. Okay, now we come down to looking at which white works in your painting. So we have the titanium white, we have a zinc white, we have a pearl white. Now I know what whites and purples do and what I want them to do in my painting. So I use purple as my test colour. Now this is quite thick, it's not as runny as the others, but what I do is I put, can you actually see that? Yeah. I put some inside the white Each of the, uh, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to do uh, number two. Tip it again to see whether or not it flows nicely in your white. You can see they're pretty much the same. Okay. Now let me show you what happens if you put it in a thinner one. So this is the really thin one, and this was our standard equal parts. Now what we see here is that this is not moving very fast and this is falling into the white. See how the white is closing up on it? The others are keeping their own colour, not a lot of bleeding. Now let's go back and redo some of the white. So this was our titanium white that we liked. This was our zinc white. And this was our pearl white. Again, tick them and see what happens. Now, straight off you can see that the pearl is actually sandwiching the purple. It's it's not doing very much. It's not dragging the purple. It's not bleeding. The zinc is bleeding into the white and so is our titanium. Now again that's not a bad thing but you might not want that in your painting. So therefore you will need to mess around with it and see whether or not this ratio which hasn't bled and I'll show you that, the titanium one. Whoops, sorry, that was a bit, a bit much. This one bleeds a lot. So you can see if you want that effect, then you can thin your white down and get that effect. If you don't want that effect, and this only really happened because I had so much white, sorry I made a, a spill there, but you can see what happens here. Huh? The differences between the three different ratios here. This has almost swallowed the top white. This has kept a nice line. And this has swallowed the purple. Now if we take the next step, and we say, well, we want cells when we torch. What happens when we torch it? If I can ever get my torch to work properly. Okay, so let's torch the pearl. Not a lot. Let's torch the zinc white. Lots of cells happening there. Small ones, but still, you can see the purple covering the white and you can continue that all the way down. On this one, the white takes over. And so this is what the difference between titanium white and zinc white. Bigger cells, different shape and look. Look at that.
and this is the really thin one which just all falls away and you end up with just a but you've seen how each of those reacted differently and all of it was based on the ratio between the paint the water and the glue I do this like I said with every set of new paints some of these require a little different um, ratio than some of uh, than say the whites I have a gold that I adore using with this purple oh if I can open it and it's a beautiful pearlescent gold this actually takes less glue and more water because it's a different uh, the metallics just act a little bit different but I'm not going to get cells in the in the gold it's going to act the same way as the pearl it will blend and bleed and basically break up but if I want cells in my purple I'll need to go for either a zinc white or a titanium white and if you do this with every one of your colors before you start you'll understand how they work in your painting and once you've done it a couple of times you'll know for the future um, which is the best way of doing things okay I hope that was of help um, and give it a go okay let's take some close-ups this was our one on the far right the thin blend it all the way to the end our second titanium white bigger cells kept its line this was our titanium one notice how it just swallowed up the purple A zinc white a few cells but the purple kept its line and the pearlescence which the pearl white which basically breaks up 